The importance of program approach and different, different tools is, is based on the fact that resistance comes from a response to a selection pressure with a single herbicide. So it's trying to integrate as much diversity in the cropping system as possible. And the more variety, the more diversity you can have in your system, the easier it's going to be to keep those weeds at a low number and reduce the chance of getting those variants. Pre-emergence herbicides have a big role to play in controlling weeds. And it's something that we've been advocating for years, is that if you get there with a pre-emergence program, you know, sometimes they fail, but in general, the pre-emergence will, if not perfect, will really reduce the amount of weeds that will come post-emergent. And those weeds that come, that come out, if they come out of the post-emergence, they will be at a lower density, and then that gives a chance to your for your post-emergent program to really tackle these weeds. Yeah, I think uh, the new technologies that are available, such as Enlist uh, uh, Corn, E3 Soybean, yeah, these uh, new technologies are a real advancement in terms of weed management uh, globally. They provide farmers with an opportunity for improved weed control on their farm and it will delay the uh, evolution of herbicide resistance when they're used appropriately in a long-term diversified weed management program. Herbicides are an extremely important weed management tool, and I think it's the responsibility of all farmers, ag retailers, agronomists, to make sure that these weed management tools are still available for future farmers in the province. Uh, the way I see the endless system is, is, is widening the tools that are available. The more options, the better. So where I see the endless system, especially with the, the choice that the endless allows with the 2,4-D, the glyphosate and the glyphosate, it you know, basically gives you more options. We have to see these herbicides as tools in the toolbox and, and tools that have a, a value and, and that value may be well, will be reduced by resistance. And we also have to be conscious that those tools won't be easily replaced in the future. So what do we try to do in Canada is try to avoid getting to that stage where suddenly you go on the list and then I have no options left, right? All the modes of action that could use against that weed are gone. And looking down the pipeline, there's not much coming. So now I have to think of, okay, well, look into cultural management bring back tillage. So let's try to avoid doing that. Do we want the endless system and other tools like that to remain effective in the future? Of course we do. So once we have these tools, we really need to take good care of them and then use them in a way that will maximize their use in the future.